Hello my friends and welcome to another short one a day video with me Steve England Outdoor Learning. I'm here at the Froome Valley giving Teddy a quick walk on my one a day walks and um, I've just seen something really interesting now I know I filmed a thousand videos on plants and plants and their uses in the past but I've just seen something really interesting I thought this really does deserve a video so I'll turn the camera around guys you see I'm by the river here at the Froome Valley absolutely beautiful but this patch of ground in front of me, can you see this square meter? In this one square meter, I've never seen such a high concentration of so many different types of plants. So I thought I'd go through with them with you. So the first one, guys, is this one here. Needs no introduction. This is wild garlic. And a great thing to do at this time of year is before the flowers open is to pickle them is if you just put them in some apple cider vinegar with some brown sugar, dissolve the brown sugar, heat the pan up, dissolve the sugar, and stuff a load of these into a jar, and then pour the cider vinegar in there, seal the jar, leave them a couple of weeks. They are amazing. So that's one plant. And then we go to this one here, look. So I am looking for, can you see the U-shaped groove running all the way down? And it's got micro hairs on it. There's no purple splashing on there. It's got a solid purple, but it's not a splashing. So this is wild parsley. But growing right next to it, guys, is this plant here. Can you see this one here? Again, this has got a very smooth, waxy stem, which does fit in with the description of poison hemlocks or hemlock water dropwort. But this is, in fact, wild angelica. And wild angelica is edible and good. But growing right next to that, guys, is this. This is the deadly one. This is hemlock water dropwort. This is the one that's going to kill you here, right here. And the leaves look very similar to parsley. If I pull off the leaf of the wild angelica and I put it next to the parsley leaf there, you see that, guys, there? You see the difference? There. So you can tell the difference. And then growing next to, right next to the deadly one just there, is this one here. Can you see this one here? This one is the common hogweed. Now this is an edible plant. These young shoots are absolutely fantastic if they're steamed and rolled in a knob of butter. Absolutely beautiful. Growing next to that are these tiny white little flowers here. You see these here? This is wild cress. If I put it up to the river, guys, can you see the wild cress? You see them there? Now, there is another plant in the cress family that grows near water called large leaf cress, and the leaves are a lot bigger than this one, and they're really hot, very peppery. Uh, let's see what else we've got here. So, we've got wild parsley, common hogweed. Your killer, hemlock water drop work. Eat that, you'll be dead within 12 hours. There's no return. Needs no introduction, stinging nettles. Wild parsley, garlic. Unbelievable, that's what, probably half a dozen plants in a square meter. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable the amount of wild foods that you can find on a river system, guys, but also the killers as well. Like I said, I know I filmed a thousand videos on these, but it's just so, so interesting. And it just goes to demonstrate the diversity of plant life next to a river. You know, I've never seen such a high concentration of so many plants in such a small area before. Like one meter is probably six or seven different plants, but one of them will kill you. This is what I love about studying plants. Um, it's just dangerous. Hopefully, guys, when this virus issue passes, um, we can then continue because I am scheduled to do a couple of foods of the Froome wild food foraging courses down here. But obviously I've had to suspend them for the moment. Uh, but this is the sort of things that we're going to be looking at, guys. We're going to wander the rivers, collect some wild edibles, look at the poisonous ones and then make a meal off the land. Unbelievable. Anyway, guys, this is my one a day. I hope you're all safe. And uh, if you go to my YouTube channel, just click in like Steve England. And then you can get uh, all my updates on my videos or the Steve England Outdoor Learning Facebook page. Anyway, guys, I hope you're all safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.